And if the leaders don't, uh, Neckbreaker, do you uh, do you want to toss anything out? Well, I'm guessing you're fishing for me to plug my uh, blog. Shamelessly. Okay. The blog has been pl plugged. <laughs> you can find it on uh, the uh, Christian Crew website. Um, if we want to link okay. in the meeting okay. hall, I can. Okay, fine. Sure. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> Yay! I would like to say, ladies and gentlemen, that um, uh, for those of you that have already kind of gotten interested in the blog and maybe have made one through the back end of WordPress, there's a system in our WordPress blog that's actually a visual, a visual drag and drop page builder where you don't have to use like the word processing type of thing. You can actually make really pretty posts. And I didn't have to give Nightbreaker like any instruction on how to use it. He just figured it out. So if you think his posts are really pretty and stuff, um, well, that's how he did it. <laughs> it's figured a it out very, himself. very nice piece of software. So yeah, anybody that already well, anybody that already has a blog and isn't aware of uh, a system called Elementor, but you'd like or would be interested in learning about how to use it, just let me know. Because uh, or or even Neckbreaker, because like I said, he he pretty much figured it out by himself. But yeah, um, please keep an eye open on on Netbreaker's blog also because. Uh, I think one of the genius things he did with this reveal is is uh, he's been posting these on his way to Beagle Point um, report, and he's revealed it as he's reaching Beagle Point. So uh, it's a it's a great sort of story to follow, and it has visuals, and it just it's just it, it builds up as it goes along. Um, having said that, I think he's probably going to uh, have you know, different series that go on within this blog. So keep an eye on it. Yeah, uh, recording, that must be football. <laughs> uh, football's, football's church website also uses Elementor, and their pastor is super happy with his recent changes. So Anyway, uh, all right, so we've, we've shamelessly plugged the... Uh, Space block. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the space block. Hey, I mean, while we're at it, there's probably going to be another post coming this evening. Now, is that also Beagle Point specific? No, that will, that will be on my attempt to reach the furthest system from Seoul in the galaxy. It works for me. Alrighty. Um... Having said that, uh, let's see. Um, again, do any leaders have anything they want to share with the community? Anything we need to toss around or talk about at all publicly? Blah, 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 blah. Um, so there was a, an issue earlier this week that we're not going to go into detail, but there was a valid point brought up, and the idea is that Maybe there are a few voice channels that are kind of redundant during the week because they're only used once. So, I know people are a little burnt out on the discussion because we had one last meeting as well. This is going to be very... Uh, what are people's opinions if we, for instance, conglomerated the voice channels... To, for the ministry, so that there is only one ministry voice channel, and instead the times are added to the text channel things instead, so that you know when they are without being on a voice channel. Any thoughts are welcome, folks. Okay, got some positives coming through on the meeting hall text channel. Dream, I'm not sure if yeah. you've seen that. I don't it's... understand exactly what that would entail. So, um, the idea might be we have one voice channel called ministry, and then we take the Bible study time, put it on Bible study. Book study channel isn't even used, and power prayer maybe gets put on the prayer requests. So, voice channels would be more like... Um, 
overarching categories as opposed to specific. Yeah. That's actually a really winning idea, in my opinion. Of course, we have to get it past Big uh, Sky. Well, I'm just looking over some of the permissions in some of these channels, too. For instance, the meeting hall... Oops, I rocked the wrong one. Uh, the meeting hall voice channel we could get rid of and only create it for when we do our meetings. That's another one we could get rid of. I guess it does have a good point specifically about ministry channel. Now, I can understand if we do it under other categories, but she specifically mentioned the ministry channel. Okay. That they give maximum visibility to our most important functions. So. Yeah, but there is a way we could apply this, this idea to other um, categories, though. Well, I think, for one, we don't need the meeting hall channel Council section has special permissions, so I don't want to touch that and have to keep worrying about that. But the meeting hall is literally at everyone. If you have access to it, you can see it and you can do things. That's what I see for permissions. I don't know if there's anything else. So I will talk to Sky about it, but like meeting hall, we could get rid of. I think book study hasn't happened in a long time. We can get rid of that. Just trimming a couple extra voice channels that we really aren't using. What's everybody's opinion on the gym? I know it was rocking for a little while, but it seems like nobody posted it. I think I, I don't want it to sound goofy or, or like cynical, but the gym was kind of like, Kind of like some people's New Year's resolutions, like for a little while, for a couple of weeks, it was like everybody was in there, and now it's, oh, well, they're back to eating again. <laughs> yeah. He can tell who's not in voice. <laughs> I definitely think we should run down um, category by category and see where this would apply the best and where it would apply the least. Uh, just for example, like as was saying, ministry is probably something we shouldn't mess with too much. The reason that the ministry ones are attractive to consolidate is because many of them are a single time during the week and it are un unused. Yeah, my my worry at the time. While I agree with you, I think my worry is that if we totally removed um, all of the once a week or once every two week channels, um, they wouldn't be in people's faces. So people would go, you know, they kind of it kind of fall on the back burner. And people wouldn't even think if if it's there and you see it all the time, it kind of keeps it in your mind that it's upcoming. You know what I'm saying? I would. Okay. Perhaps suggest that that's what announcements are for, but well, yeah, true. true. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because I don't know. I just think there's a couple of channels that we have right now that we really don't need. Um, I think, yeah, for instance, the one I mentioned, book study. Um, I was thinking we also could get rid of. Um, uh, hmm. Somebody really has something else to say. I'm still thinking through my thoughts. Now, when we say once a week channels, we're not talking about Bible study, right? I was under the impression that we were. No, no. that I think Bible study is the one thing we should never drop because, I mean, that if 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 Kessa was saying there's certain ministry channels that shouldn't be the focus of our community, Bible study would be that one. We should always have it front and center, once a week or not.
I feel like Bible study is the one thing everybody here can agree on as opposed to, say, you know, the up and down uh, joke discussions or the arguments or debates or anything else. Everybody can say, oh, yeah, Bible study for sure. No, no, chat channels will never be deleted unless there's a specific reason that we have discussed on with much debate on getting rid of. For now, text channels are pretty much staying because we want that as record of what we're discussing and also for some notes as well afterwards. So I guess the suggestion here would be just to, to kind of take a look at the voice channels that are the least used and start with them. And I think Ping Jockey made a really good point that if we do this, it could be like, um, it doesn't have to be like a hurry, like we have to get it all done in one day. Because some people are going to get on in like a week that we're not at this meeting that are going to be like, hey, what happened to seven channels? You know, what I mean? if they come in and there's only one missing, they'll ask, they'll figure out what's going on. It'll be cool. It'll be a nice gradual process. But if we get rid of a whole bunch at once, people might be a little displaced on what's happening. Would Amaroth, would you say we're doing this for simplicity's sake? For Ping Jockey's question? Yeah. I, I think it's also to try and streamline Discord because we have gotten a little addy and not subtracty. I have to agree completely with what Cassie just said, particularly discussion in voice. I'm actually 100% a voice discussion in channel because as volatile as the text channel can be, I can only imagine what the voice channel would be like if something got started in there. Okay. So that would actually be my first vote, re remove a voice discussion. <laughs> That's just asking for trouble. I hate to play devil's advocate on that, but I think in my experience, when I'm speaking to someone, it's easier. It, it, it's it's much it's more difficult to have misunderstandings than it is in text. Yeah. Um, some of the most heated debates I've had online have been through text, not through voice. Yeah. So I think we're probably. I mean, also somebody, because the discussion den channel technically has no permissions whatsoever other than anybody that has access to see it can join it. That could easily be somebody creating a channel spawner or something. Um, and book study we haven't done in, I don't think, a year. I think it's been a year since the last book study. Someone want to correct me, but. It has been a while. So I think maybe if we chop those two, that's two less voice channels that we really are not using. Um, another one I want to put up for the chopping block is our game. Now you've done it. <laughs> no, yes, it's not yes I have. Um, I can see both sides of that. It is a bit redundant. Um, however, there are more personal works I have that I don't feel comfortable posting where the non-members can see. So Talking about a, the voice channel. Oh, the voice channel. There's an art gallery voice channel down in miscellaneous at the very bottom of Discord. I have used it, and Bob and I often use it when we art together. Uh, but I believe we're about the only two. So, Because I was just looking at the permissions for it, and basically you have to be a member to even see it. That was the point. Yes. Um, it was instituted after that really bad troll attack. And it's possible with the crash pad that that's not really necessary anymore. Yeah. We and also the conference room pretty much has the exact same permissions. I've forgotten about that. Um, it has been used on occasion. And it's been useful. Yeah. I'm going to wait for people to finish 
typing out, but I think we've got a list of chopping block, I think. At least a couple. I, I do agree with um, Ping Jockey's recommendation, though, of doing it bit, bit by bit. Yeah, so a very important thing when it comes to matters of making changes to any organization in particular, you know, the, the abundance of voice chats that we have here. Um, it's all about perception, right? So if you start all of a sudden whacking a whole bunch of channels, like I said earlier, people, people may not respond positively to that. If you phrase it such as like, we're condensing the discord servers, uh, chat environment for better management, and you know whatever Th that might go better with the with the rank and file so to speak mm -hmm. it's all about perception because people might see it a different way if you start pulling voice channels for some reason like why are they locking stuff down just my two cents Yeah, I completely agree with the mentality of of removing voice chats. It, it makes sense, especially you know, with as many as we have here and the size of the of the moderator group, you know, it can be challenging. So I I, I, I completely understand the logic. So you got my vote. I think I also need to take a look at the server with like a recognized or member role. I've had pretty much admin access since this thing existed. So I've always seen everything. That's actually really smart. I have to do that with a website occasionally, Emerald, where you get so used to your top-down view, you don't realize what the uh, bottom-up view is. So I suggest that, yeah. You know, and if there's concern about, you know, um, at some point trimming the, the, the chat channels, uh, you know, the, the text channels or whatever, um, I would just have Sky look at that that uh, GitHub script I chucked up in the chat earlier, and see if that's <laughs> a way that's a way to you know use that to back up said chat to like a text file or or something maybe um, before uh, before um, you know any changes are made. Just yes, yeah, of so. course that does make sense. I definitely think we'll look at that. I mean, I think right now it's mostly just a okay. Can we make? It, are there anything that we can get rid of? That really is not used, but I think text channels are going to be challenging, challenging, and not today. Oh yeah, no, I mean this any, anything like this is a long term project, right? So yeah. I mean, probably of course of a yeah. two quarters or whatever. I would like to interject something that's kind of it's kind of tangential to this issue, but it's a slightly new subject too. Um, we have had a couple of people in our community who. Uh, reacted sort of in a stressed way to the way our system is designed and the way things are put. And I would I would ask anyone that if you feel any kind of stress or any kind of, um, I don't know, uh, unhappiness with the way our community is set up or the way it's run or anything, please don't let that build up on you until you explode and get mad at people and, and throw a fit. Say something immediately as you feel uncomfortable to uh, one of our leaders or one of our moderators so they can, you know, help figure out what the problem is and we can do something about it rather than just holding it in and letting it cause an explosion. That doesn't help anyone. Especially if, if I may interject, sorry, especially, you know, if it's a, you know, publicly facing channel, you know, there are issues with, with, something going on, whether it be a leadership thing or whatever, you know, don't do it in a publicly facing channel, you know, pull the person to the side, you know, a channel that's not publicly available and, and just discuss it there because, you know, if we have new people in public that hear, um, you know, arguments or, you know, heated discussions that doesn't really give a positive view of the organization as a whole. I mean, if, if a new guy just pops on and he's in, you know, and I'm bad with the voice channel, so I, I can't remember which one's which. But you know, he's in a public facing channel, and all of a sudden, you know, John Smith and Jill Smith start going at each other, you know, about leadership discussions or 
hey, blah, 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 or whatever, you know, it, it just doesn't give a very good perception. So um, that's actually the point of the conference room. And it has been used that way several times to my knowledge. And the, the, uh, uh, oh gosh, the we're just gonna went out. The, the the manners around that channel is basically if you see two people in there and they're obviously having a conversation, don't interrupt without permission. Uh, so I didn't even know we had that. So yeah. all right, cool. <laughs> Good to know. <clears throat> all right. So um, any other input on that particular subject? We don't want to be here too too too. I think we're kind of just. I think unless somebody else has something they really want to bring up, I think we're going to probably move ahead with cutting discussion den and book study voice channels for now and do that as the first step. Right. And, and um, we'll probably have an ongoing discussion about this as we move forward, just to, uh, if you, if anyone ever has channels they think are just extraneous, be sure and mention it to somebody and we'll, we'll take a look at it and see what we think, if we agree with that or not. Yeah, Ping Jockey saying, slow as fast. You don't have to do it all at once. I think both of those channels are pretty good candidates to start with. Um, they're pretty easy to replace with a temporary channel if they ever do want to be used. Indeed. Also, um, that that kind of puts forward the point that there are a lot of people that aren't aware of how to create a temporary channel and if they need it that's just a reason for them to learn it if that makes any sense <laughs> to be to be honest i'm not even sure who who the moderators are and i've been here for a while so <laughs> they're in the shadows <laughs> uh their their names should be yellow Unless oh. they also have an EC tag. There are... <laughs> well, literally anything that's higher than moderator will override it and it'll be something else. So yeah. like 80% of our moderators are something else as well, which. Most of our moderators are also event coordinators or staff. One or the other. Got it. Right. Just re I did another quick search. Actually, that's more like 50% actually. There are a lot more media moderators than I thought. So in other words, in other words, moderators are like the the invisible ninjas that you can't see. Yeah. So don't try. <laughs> okay. So I think we're gonna call it here for the discussion. Anyone else have anything to bring up on leadership wise, and then move on to last calls. Casa. So I had three people, I think, for last week's TKO, and a couple people have expressed that. They wanted to play that. Shall I run that again this Wednesday night? Uh, this coming Wednesday. Okay. I mean, if even one person is interested. Yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name? Uh, TKO, I think, is the actual name. It's included with the Jackbox 3 party pack. Basically, you make a t-shirt based on the thing, and then people vote on it. Yeah, it's like Quiplash. Kinda. Oh yeah, that looks like that looks like fun. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Can you still make real T-shirts from the winners? Uh, if you could before, you can now. I the game hasn't updated as far as I know. That's cool. Some of those are really good. I channeled my inner Bob Ross. It was great. That's hysterical. Alrighty, well, as, as we come to the end of the meeting, I would just like to remind everyone of uh, the shameless plug from earlier in the meeting. Nick Greger now has his um, broadcast from the Black blog on our website. Visit it and enjoy and consume. Hey, he's a male out the Black. Awesome sauce. Alrighty, and I guess that... Uh, Anybody else have any other open meeting business whatsoever? This is free game. Someone wants to bring something out they want to discuss. Please don't make it too trivial, but please bring it up. Like, I, 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 like Neo's name change or something. <laughs> 
I, I will say that I uh, I really thank the, uh, the the community and and you know folks here for uh, you know making me feel welcome and listening to you know all the stuff I've <laughs> gone through in the last couple of months. It's it's helped a lot, and I really do truly appreciate it. You're welcome, I guess. I was speaking on behalf of everyone. <laughs> Definitely. What he said. Okay, so. Super final, amazing last call. Gotta add adjectives so it makes it interesting. It couldn't just be amazing, it had to be super amazing. Alrighty, folks, uh, we appreciate you dropping in tonight, especially since we were a little bit late getting started. Um, essentially, I'm going to ask that all of our uh, leaders uh, drop down into the closed section and